Hey, hey developers, today I'm going to do a quick review on the complete 2019 web development bootcamp by Angela Yu. It's a fairly new Udemy course where she goes over a ton of stuff on how you can become a web developer in 2019. So I'm going to look at the course content. I'm going to talk to you a little bit about things that I like about the course and maybe a few things that I wish she added to the course. So make sure you stay all the way to the end. Also, and if you don't know, my name is Eric. I'm a full-time software developer, full-stack software developer. I'm also the author of the Vue.js in Action book and the Create Awesome Vue.js apps course. Both of those links are in the description below. And also to let you guys know that this course, I'm gonna put a link in the description. You can go ahead and click on it. If you guys like the course, make sure you buy it and click on the link. If you buy it from my link there, I actually get a few bucks. I'm an affiliate for you to me. So I'd highly appreciate that. So let's begin. Okay, so if you are like me, when you hear the complete 2019 Web Developer Bootcamp, I think everybody thinks about Colt Steel. He actually has a very similar course. So if we look right here, this is the Web Developer Bootcamp. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna talk first in just relations to what the 2019 Web Development Bootcamp by Angela Yu offers. And then later on, we're gonna do a little bit of comparison to Colt Steele's Bootcamp and see which one is better or what, what, what the differences are basically. And like I said before, uh, actually Udemy is having a $10 sale. And so there's only a few days left, so make sure you buy it this course if you're interested in it. It's normally $199, so you're gonna for 10 bucks. So uh, you can take it here. What I'm gonna do here is I'm just gonna go through the course content. I'm just gonna riff on it and just talk to you about it. And uh, you can see here first that it is pretty comparable to Colt Steele's course in that it has 39 hours of on-demand video. I think Colt's course has very similar amounts, uh, 47 hours. So they both, both these courses have tons of information. This has tons of articles, has 17 downloadable resources, coding exercise, full-time access, um, and of course you get a ton of modules. I believe there's 31 modules in this course. So there's a lot of information in here, which is cool. You can pay $10 and get a lot. So here is the web page here, and you can see here from the announcements that she has definitely been updating. She just had her last uh, announcement 15 days ago. In fact, she had a, a part of this announcement where she added an extra module called how to build our, your own RESTful API. So this course is definitely getting more and more traction, um, more modules, which is really cool. And she actually, uh, two months ago, she actually had a, a link where people could vote on what they wanted to see next, which was really neat. I'm not gonna show you that link, obviously, but that's cool. Uh, you can also see here, she has lots and lots of reviews. I mean, 25,000 students too. And uh, that, that's really awesome. So going back to the course content that she has here, and I'm gonna click on here, too and I will not show you the video because I don't wanna get hit with copyright strikes, but she has, that's really cool. Right at the end of the course, she actually does an AMA. So she has tons of uh, content where she goes over and helps people out. So I'll just pause this right here. Uh, so you can- Curriculum as um, our in-person program. She has tons of content where she actually just answers questions. She did three pieces of content where she does kind of an AMA, which is really neat. So if you don't know, Angela Yu, she actually is, I believe she is the founder of the app brewery so if you go to appbrewery.co it's a boot camp in london it's uh, she, as she says in the video it's the highest rated boot camp in london and she teaches a lot of these concepts to students in person so you know that when you take this course you're talking to someone that has talked to students and he she actually comes up with some of the things that you might think of while you're in doing these these uh, modules so she'll explain some things that really help you out so that that's really appreciated during it she'll like for example she'll say you probably don't know how to do this so let's google it and she'll google it and show you how that works which i really appreciated uh, so 
you can see here the beginning the the beginning sections are what you kind of expect from a beginner web development course they talk about front-end web development talk about what you expect in this course here's the syllabus for this course you can see here you can understand how websites work and how html css and javascript contribute they have some html5 css3 bootstrap4 some javascript es6 document modules jquery command line GitHub and GitHub version control, Node.js, Express.js, how to do APIs, EJS, which we'll, we'll talk about later, databases, SQL, NoSQLs, MongoDB and Mongoose, and deployment. So if we look a little bit closer at some of that, so you go right into her, the first section, which is the front end web development, kind of the introduction of the course, and then you go directly into introduction to HTML. And I went through this part, I went through this section, and I thought it was good. It was, uh, I liked the way she teaches. It's kind of like Cold Steel's way where you, it's very project-based. So every single module, you're creating a new project. In the first section, you're actually creating a, like a, kind of like a professor's website. So you're not adding in a bunch of animations. It's really simple. You actually learn about tables and you can put a table on your website. So kind of a throwback to some fundamentals you should know about. So in intermediate HTML, you can kind of get a few more of the higher level HTML de designs, concepts in here, like layouts, emojis, HTML forms, um, and then go, then she goes directly into CSS. He so basically learned the introduction to CSS, the box model, internal, external CSS selectors, things that you should learn in CSS. And then you go into a little bit of intermediate CSS, which is great. So you'll learn. Uh, more about display properties. I didn't see some more advanced concepts, concepts. I didn't see much animation, things like that. But for a beginner course, I could let that slide. And then probably more more advanced stuff. And then we go into Bootstrap 4. Now, this, I don't really understand why Bootstrap 4 is still important. I know a lot of companies use it. But I think Bootstrap 4 could either be a smaller section or taken away completely. I just think that a lot of companies are you know, foregoing Bootstrap for using other material, maybe using a material design framework of some sort or having in-house developers or designers to do it. I think it's good to learn. Um, I would almost wish that instead of doing Bootstrap 4, this would have been a CSS flex section, you know, or a CSS grid, a flex and grid, and just skip Bootstrap 4 completely. I, I think maybe for beginners, that's why everybody teaches it. But I think if I taught a course, I would maybe do a small introduction to Bootstrap 4 and then go into CSS Grid and, and Flexbox. Uh, intermediate Bootstrap, and once more, kind of the basic, more, a little bit more of the basics of, of, of uh, Bootstrap. Uh, JavaScript ES6, this is, I kind of just skipped a section. I noticed most of the sections actually don't use ES6 at all, and this is like the one section that does. I wish the whole course would have been in ES6 and that's how she taught JavaScript. Um, I noticed she has this section, but in later sections, she doesn't use like const or, or let or or some other ES6 stuff. Um, she uses some, but not all. But I mean, she does go over it. I, I like one thing. I like it's kind of it's sort of a creative um, the way she teaches some of these. So instead of having just kind of boring slides and 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 the backgrounds, she has she usually has like a really interactive course uh, interactive slides at the beginning of each section and then she goes into different concepts and like for example she uses the Corel chessboard solution so definitely different ways of teaching I think that really really highlights how well she knows the subjects and how well she teaches people in person so she can be able to kind of put these creative ways of teaching and I, I really appreciate that in fact I will say and I didn't mention this at the beginning but the whole course is very polished I could definitely feel there's a lot of time put into it there is a lot of time putting into the slides uh, the introduction looks great uh the you know basically the whole the whole the whole course is really well put together. It definitely wasn't something that was put together in a weekend. So I really appreciate that too. We go into intermediate JavaScript. She goes into some things you should know. Probably if you get interviewed, you probably want to know some of these. And some of these are really easy, just like comparator offers, combining comparators. And then into the DOM, uh, do query selectors, things like that. One thing I really appreciate by the with this is, I think this is might even be better than Colt Steel's is she has these challenges 
like here is the dice game challenge and she gives really quick and simple website of, an idea of what the challenge is and then you can download the skeleton project and then you have these challenge steps which kind of kind of walk you through what you need to do for each one of these challenges and what you should do and then she has a video on here's the solution so i really appreciated that i thought that was really well done on these challenges the advanced javascript dom manipulation they created drum kit it really reminds me if you guys have taken west boss's free javascript course he has actually have drum kind of like a sound kit on there. So similar to that one, uh, I think, I mean, really interesting going into this. I think it's just, I mean, it's it's okay. I, I would, you could probably get into more advanced DOM um, manipulation if you wanted to, but this is a beginner's course. jQuery, I don't, every single course ever teaches on um, for beginner web developers teaches jQuery. I would almost skip this part or just put a little section. I just don't think we need jQuery as much. I would rather put like, let's put tools and let's teach jQuery and Lodash and, you know, maybe a couple of other tools, uh, libraries that people commonly use for web development. And instead of having like one huge jQuery one, which uh, I think that, you know, a lot of companies, a lot of places are moving away from. And once again, another great challenge in section 14, which I won't go into. Uh, the Unix command line, I think this is good to have this in there. I mean, as a web developer, you need to have this. Um, some kind of web development Unix command line uh, information in your portfolio, tool in your portfolio. This is really, really simple. I mean, you could obviously create a whole course in Unix command line. I'd almost want this one to be a little bit larger. And then we go into the back end. And uh, good choice in Node.js. I think that's a great choice to go into. Uh, really, really basic stuff on Node.js and Express and how to set up an Express server, but I think this is great for beginners, and this is how I, I would teach it. And how many other people? This is actually exactly how Colt Steel teaches it, too. Then into version control, which I think is great. I mean, it goes into GitHub. Use the command line on here, which is good. I, didn't, I don't think there was like a graphical Git anything that she used. She just used Git and GitHub, which is perfect on the command line. And then this is the API's application program interface. This isn't, this is one of the APIs. She actually has a whole module. You create a new API interface and that's one of the new ones. So this is, uh, well, I watched a few of these videos. They were, uh, it was interesting because I, um, it was using, basically uses node and then uses the request module inside node to do requests. I'd almost want to see like, instead of having it application program interfaces it's like moment almost like let's create let's use a public facing json api and then let's compare taking information from the front end which you sometimes have to do and then also how you can grab it from the back end and then compare that like maybe use fetch or download like axios on the front end and then you can actually use axios and node too and then let's see how we do it in the back end and then how we could do it through the request library and things like that so maybe I would like to see more of that. Uh, deploy it has Heroku for deployment, which is awesome. I think that's fine. I'd almost want to see like GitHub Pages too, uh, if if you know, because everybody uses that and it's another free one. There's a whole section on EJS, so you can learn all about EJS and templates and 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 uh, I would almost want to look at other other than EJS. Maybe look at like handlebars or or Jade, but I guess this is fine. I, I think what, what I see a lot of companies moving towards is instead of having something like this, you would have more of a uh, front end framework and then doing RESTful, basically completely take the front end and remove all the logic from the back end from it. So you're not doing this like markup inside your, inside your front end code and doing EJS and hooks and stuff. I, I don't, I think that's probably more what we see. I think that's what we more see with these templating languages. They're just not, I don't think they're as popular as they used to be. I think if you, if I create a new project, I would never use EJS. You know, I would definitely use like React or Vue or Angular and then completely separate the front and back end and not do anything like this. Bonus level champles, blog website. Once again, like all these challenges are really great. And in fact, by the end of the course, I think she said there were 16 different projects that you create, which is awesome. And then we go into databases. Now databases is a good subject. I, I 
kind of criticize a little bit that we go into MongoDB. I, I rather people teach Postgres, you know, normal SQL. I think that's a little more common, but MongoDB still really popular and, and it's an easy concept to teach. I think Postgres is better. Uh, Mongoose, you know, is a way to, she actually goes, these are really great videos on how you can do selects and statements and, and, and get into your database. And then you put it all together in a to-do list, which I was uh, mildly disappointed that was to-do list, but I still think it's a great way. It's, it's why everybody uses to-do list because it's a great way to teach people things. So she kind of does basically a CRUD. You can delete, add, connect to your database, which is cool. Deploying your web application. Once again, it's Haruku, which is good. And then she has some, uh, another blog update challenge. Here's the new module she just added in for Christmas. It uses database and Robo 3T. I've never heard of Robo 3T, um, but it's it looks pretty cool. I mean, I, I started reading it. It looks like a, a, a definitely fun module, and especially for beginners. I, I think they would love this. You know, if you were want to be like super advanced, you may, you know, you could use something like GraphQL to create like a RESTful API, but you know, that's a little bit beyond maybe what develop beginners could, could use. And then this is one thing that definitely makes it unique is it has a whole design section. I noticed definitely during the sections that there was a really good, there was a really good emphasis on design. Um, so I think this having a whole module on it is well, well, was well worth it. I mean, I don't know tons about design, but I think I'm going to be watching all of this by the end of it. And then I'm, as I mentioned at the beginning, she has this ask Angela anything. She already has three episodes and they're almost like 40 minutes each. So that's really cool. So I really like how she's doing that and she's continuing to add to the course. And then she has next steps. And also there's tons of great resources, like almost every single module, she'll mention a resource and there's a download to the resources inside, um, inside the course. I believe it's actually one of these. And we have web development course resources, which is cool. And she actually has a lot of it linked to App Brewery as well. So quickly, let's talk about the differences between this one and the web development bootcamp by Colt Steele. So if you look at the course content, it's almost, I have to say it's very, very close. Like it almost has the exact same sections, like same introduction to the course, which you have in all Udemy courses, introduction to fr front end development, the HTML, uh, introduction to HTML is really similar to them, uh, to, to Angela's course. Intermediate HTML is really, really similar. The uh, introduction to CSS, once again, very similar. I think this actually has a few more advanced CSS stuff in there than Angela's, especially in the intermediate styles. Um, they both also have the very same style where they teach by example which is really good, um, a lot of code alongs. A Bootstrap and Bootstrap 4, um, obviously you wouldn't want to use Bootstrap 3, so they have a Bootstrap 4, just like Angelus, there's a Bootstrap 4 course. They actually do go um, into Bootstrap 4 Flexbox and Layout, which is a little bit more advanced Bootstrap 4, I think. I didn't look, the Bootstrap advanced stuff here it might be very similar. Yeah, the inner uh, cards, carousels, bootstrap challenges, CSS selectors, compared to Colt Steels, which has, actually they do mention grid. I think this is CSS grid and Flexbox, but if it is, it's not a ton of information. Still, I'd like both courses to have, it. and then a project. The JavaScript stuff uh, is is about the same. I think it, they break it into more modules in here. And I don't think this is, I think I like it a little bit more succinct in Angela's where if you look at it, they have a GSS six and then they have intermediate JavaScript and that's it. But if you're really struggling in the JavaScript world, I could see how cold steels would be better because they have it broken up into JavaScript, control flow, functions. While in Angela's course, you just get you can see here JavaScript ES6, which is 23 sections, and then intermediate JavaScript, but it doesn't go into as much detail for sure. So I would have to give that one to Colt, just a lot more sections than JavaScript. DOM manipulation is about the same. They actually had advanced DOM manipulation here, um, which I think it's probably about the same. Color, they have different projects. Uh, they both go into jQuery. I think she has 
a jQuery section that's 10 sections, but she doesn't really go into advanced jQuery, which looks like you do key process. Yeah, so definitely more jQuery information in this course. They both have a to-do list project, which is funny. So, you know, everybody has a to-do list app, so might as well add it into your course. And then they both have these optional like learnings. I, I think from what I've seen, the complete 2019 web development bootcamp by Angela is, is a little bit better in their, their level challenges than Colt Steele's. They both uh, teach Node.js. He actually talks a little bit about uh, Intermediate Express. They both talk about EJS too. So they're really similar that way. And maybe you get a little bit more information in Colt's. Working with APIs, uh, very similar to both. I think they even talk about XML here, which you'll, you'll never run into. And then they both have these projects right in the middle. Databases, they both teach MongoDB and Mongoose. So those are almost exactly the same. RESTful routing, they both have RESTful like routing sections where they talk about you know CRUD, how do you create uh, update apps, data associations. I don't think sh uh, that might be a section in here. I'm thinking that's like one to many, many to one, and how you do associations through there, through the database. That might have been talked about a little bit. But nevertheless, it's not, I don't think that's a very big section. I don't think there's any authentication in in uh, Angela's course too, so that's something you'll be missing. And then they have this whole Yelp camp, which is pretty big. Get GitHub is same, almost exactly the same. Deploying, exactly the same to Heroku. And JavaScript, the tricky stuff, this is just a little bit more JavaScript. So if you are looking for a ton of JavaScript and a lot of of Colt uh, Steels, and you really like Colt Steel, go with Colt Steel. I mean, I really like the way Angela teaches. I mean, I think she's she's really smart. She, she really explains concepts really well. You could tell that she's worked. And by the way, it's all her through the whole course, and she doesn't change anybody up. I know that's one of the – people don't like that. I think this is really well – Develop course, I'd definitely check it out. I mean, bottom line between this one and the Web Developer Bootcamp, they're so close by Colts. I'd almost say it's like a draw. It's really hard to even tell like which one's better. Like none of them went out the, like none of them, I would say what, I mean, I'll give you this though. Angela's course has this design school. So that's something like you don't get as much JavaScript, but you get a little bit, you know, some more design school stuff on there. It doesn't have any RESTful API from scratch. So those two modules are not in the Web Developer Bootcamp by Colt Steel. So you do get those. Uh, but everything else is pretty much covered by Colt Steel. So it's pretty hard to say which one's better. I think you get both and see which style you like. I think definitely I would have liked a little bit more. Um, some, some other things I could see that could differentiate these courses if someone did like put in a React like a React module or a Vue.js module and said, okay, now since we've learned how to do this, let's see it with uh, React and Vue. Or they did a really good flex. Like, okay, you learned the beginning and intermediate of CSS. Let's do flex. Let's learn about CSS grid. Let's learn. I think that would really differentiate one of them because that's something I wish that both courses did, or definitely Angela's. I would have, I like to see Postgres, but maybe that's maybe just my personal preference. And uh, I also noticed that I think both of them actually even use the Atom editor, which is funny. I'd almost want to say you could probably create a whole section on Visual Studio Code too. That would that'd be a cool differentiator. All right, well, that's enough of me blabbing. I think you guys get the idea of this course. It's really similar to Cold Steel's course. I mean, it's very, they're both well polished. They both almost have the exact same sections. I don't know if that was intentional or or what, uh, I, 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 I do like how Angela is adding new sections at the end and design and, and this RESTful API. I still think there's definitely cool stuff that could be added, like like I said, Flexbox and other things. So I, I leave it up to you, viewer. You know, you guys are listening right now. Let me know what course you like better, which one do you think is better in the description below. In fact, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna give you, uh, well, first, let's let's do this. So in my last video, I promised one lucky person a free copy of my course. So I'm going to f find that person right now. So I'm going to search 
and I have uh, 18 uniques. So I'm gonna start the raffle and we're gonna pick from the raffle winner, Waldo Mac. Have you ever made a vid on the project? Oh, cool, so Waldo Mac, thank you so much. I will be leaving a comment, contact me and you will get a free copy of the complete 2019 web development bootcamp. I'll let you know. In fact, I will give another course away because I am so generous and I'll do it on Friday's video. So for those of you super fans who've watched all the way to the end, this one's got a little bit long. All you need to do is tell me um, what, what you like better. Tell me if you like the Cold Steel course or if you took this course or you're starting to take it, let me know which one you like better. If you haven't taken either, just tell me which uh, Udemy courses that you like to take and maybe give me an idea of what I can review next. So leave a comment below. I will randomly choose someone at the end of next week's video on Friday. So thank you for watching. If you guys like this video, first, if you like this course, make sure you click and buy it using that dis that link in the description below. That way I can get a few bucks. And then also smash that like button and make sure you uh, go and share this with your friends. Thanks. Take care.